So he started kicking a few times. At this point, I was already satisfied, but it gets just so much better. <laughs> It is Thursday and everything that you will see in this vlog, it all happened yesterday. Let me tell you this story. It was amazing. It was my time to shine. Good guy, Chris. <laughs> I will get to all of that. I. Yo, I filmed everything. I was a bit obnoxious. So yesterday, I was on my way to the dentist to get more retainers for my teeth and literally one station before my exit, two drunk guys came in. It was actually a guy and his girlfriend. And at first, it seemed like they had fun. She took a seat on his lap and when they both fell over, it was totally clear to me that I need to film this. So from this moment, I kept the camera rolling. And of course, I need to censor everything. No troubles for me, just a lot of work of blurring their faces. She apparently needed a bathroom and there was one right in front of them. The train was pretty crowded and when they fell down, pretty much all the guys left the area. I was literally the only one who stayed. So yeah, there was this bathroom. And I don't know what was wrong with this bathroom, but the doors were apparently locked. So he started kicking a few times. At this point, I was already satisfied, but it gets just so much better. The kicking was fairly loud. It was really loud. So all the people in the train, they took even more distance. And I was just sitting there thinking, hell yeah. And around five minutes later, there came this guy. <laughs> At first, he was just complaining about this crazy guy trying to kick in this door. But at the same time, there was this girl laying on the ground. And at this very moment, probably his white knight mangina brain kicked in. Okay, I'm sorry for that, but like, I just saw that coming. He had good intentions, but to me, it was just clear what will happen next. <laughs> and that was the point where the fun started. He grabbed, well, let, let, just watch, just watch. <laughs> At this moment, I already had quite the rush, but my adrenaline surge was just getting started. <laughs> it was just getting started. I think it's hard to see, but there were people all over the place, especially back there when he shoved him up the stairs. No one did anything. Like, it's crazy. They literally looked away. They, they just minded their own business. He grabbed him again, shoved him against the door, and then he punched him right in the face. <laughs> That was hard to watch for me and it got to this point where I just couldn't watch any longer. I felt so sorry for this guy. Also, he clearly had no chance whatsoever. I think he was like maybe 50 years old. So he was definitely in risk of getting seriously injured. Let me just roll the clip of what happened next. <laughs> So yeah, I just got up and got in between them. I just, you know, shoved this poor little bugger away. And luckily at this point, it was basically over. Thanks to my mean looks, of course. But seriously, I think I deserve a little bit of a pet on my back. Because first of all, who knows what could have happened. Secondly, I was the only, I was the only one who helped. I was the only one who did something. Thirdly, most importantly, I have it all on video. <laughs> no one would ever believe me this story. I'm so glad I filmed everything. And I mean that. Because when it was all over, I went over to the victim. I got close-ups of his busted lip. I even asked him if I'm allowed to film him. He said yes. Maybe it was, you know, just in a situation. So just for safety reasons, I will blur everything, right? So 
just to be safe. I was a bit too late. It's also not on the video, sadly. He got him pretty good right here on the lip. But I think this was a valuable lesson, especially for this guy. It was the right thing to do, but it was just the wrong way to solve the situation. Fun fact, it started out with me just doing a Snapchat and he said something like, you hand over the two Gs, something like that. I think there was more than alcohol. Yeah, so that was yesterday. Quite an action-packed day. I think I did the right thing. Good guy Chris stopped the fight. It just feels pretty freaking amazing to share this story with you. When there is a situation like that, just lend a helping hand in whatever way. It's always appreciated. Believe me, I was in this situation as well. My phone was once stolen in a train and I chased the guy. Uh, it was a pretty freaking weird story as well. I chased this guy down a few blocks and then I jumped him. Another unbelievable story. And there were guys all over the place. No one did anything. Like he ran into a freaking bar or something like that. He tried to hide in the toilet. I was screaming like, he, he has my phone, yo, he stole my phone. No one was doing anything. They just, they just kept looking like what the... You know, it's all about faith in humanity. At least just try to do the right thing. One day, one step in the right direction. They got out of the train. I kept filming basically, but then I realized, okay, there is something wrong. The victim has already left. He said he does not want to get them in troubles, but whatever. So he was gone, but someone called the police and this got clear to me like 10 minutes later when the train guy said it over the speakers. English skills. Two security guys showed up a few minutes later. They were just standing and like making out. I don't even know, like they were out of this world. They were majorly stoned on another freaking planet. Another universe, probably. I even picked up his freaking phone. It was just lying on the ground. I pressed the home button. I saw this girl and gave it to the securities, basically. They gave it to him and said, okay, see ya. <laughs> See ya. Like, literally. So freaking stupid. So these two hobos got lucky this day. She lost her watch as well, but it's a piece of junk. So I just placed it very carefully on this. And that's the end of this story. Then I just went on getting my retainers. Well, and after that I had this amazing Connor Kenway does trick session, whatever. Check out my last vlog. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But anyways, that's it for today. Hell yeah, what a vlog. I will see you tomorrow.